Hi, I'm Hans and this is Denise and we're here to talk to you today about pre-planning a funeral. We realize that pre-planning a funeral is, is a bit uncomfortable and maybe it's not on everybody's priority list, but we're here to tell you today uh, about some things that can maybe ease your mind and uh, explain some benefits about pre-planning a funeral. Mm -hmm. Many times when people come in and I'm sitting at the table with them, um, they say that. They say this isn't something that we really want to do, but by the time they leave, they're happy that they did it. They're glad that they've talked with family about it and um, that they can go home and talk a little bit more and continue with the um, planning, planning for it. I've heard some people say that there are as many decisions that go into a funeral um, as, as a wedding. Mm -hmm. That is true. And you think about a wedding, people plan for months for a wedding. And so if you have as many arrangements and um, whatever you want to do for your funeral, think about that. You do that maybe in a couple days if you don't pre-plan. I, we feel that it's a, a very wise decision uh, to pre-plan your funeral in advance. Um, I, I get, why leave funeral planning to the last minute? Mm -hmm. um, there are two types of arrangements that I deal with, uh, at-need and pre-need funeral arrangements. At-need arrangements deal with a death that has occurred and we need make, to make arrangements right now. Pre-need arrangements uh, we can do at any time for the living. And this way, with the pre-planning, you ensure that your wishes are documented, we have them on file, you'll have them at home, and you may discuss it with your family. And then that way you make sure that it's carried out. Next, we're going to talk about pre-funding your funeral arrangements. Next, we'd like to talk a little bit about pre-funding uh, your funeral arrangements. Um, a couple of points to make. Planning ahead uh, enables you to make financial arrangements to cover your funeral expenses. Um, even if a decedent were to leave behind uh, plenty of money for their survivors, will those survivors be able to access that money? Uh, funeral insurance, funeral trusts, those are both sound financial planning options to pre-fund pre your funeral arrangements. What we do is we have FDLIC, which is Funeral Directors Life Insurance Company, and your funds are put in there, they earn interest, and th we have uh, access immediately to that money at the time of need. Next we'll give uh, a few other examples of how pre-planning can be beneficial to you and your family. Mm -hmm. When pre-planning a funeral for either yourself or, or a family member, I think one of the main goals is uh, easing, easing the burden mm -hmm. on those family members the, that may be left behind. Now, if, if the loved one's wishes are unknown, sometimes that can create even more uh, confusion, maybe even disagreements mm -hmm. uh, with those surviving family members. Um, when there's a plan to follow, I feel in my experience, that uh, it, it creates an ease uh, mm -hmm. for those that are left behind. They've got a path to follow, they've got a plan to follow, and I think everybody can be a little bit more confident uh, in knowing that, that they're doing what their family member would have wanted. It really is a gift to the family because it spares them making those difficult decisions at a time that um, is very emotional and, and stressful for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I think as, uh, uh, again, we, th we think about pre-planning, one of the goals would be to, to create a, a meaningful funeral for your loved one. Um, we feel that a funeral is so important for a grieving family. Uh, psychologically, it provides a sense of closure. Mm -hmm. uh, it enables the family to begin some of that grieving process. Um, we feel that families benefit emotionally and socially by honoring their loved one. Um, it's difficult. Uh, to make the funeral the best it can be um, without a plan in place. Mm -hmm. And we will have the plan here. You can have the plan at home. Your family will know where that plan is and it just um, eases everything at the time of need. Yes, and another point uh, that I'd like to make uh, is when we're planning a service for your loved one, you know, if there are specific things that, that your loved one liked, um, 
if they didn't like peas, well, then don't uh, put that in the hot dish. No, no peas in the hot dish <laughs> after the funeral. Mm -hmm. um, if you have specific preferences about the disposition of your remains, um, if there are special words that you'd like on your headstone, mm -hmm. special music, scripture readings, mm -hmm. those are all things that can uh, provide for a meaningful ceremony. We can have those things down in writing. Few mm -hmm. less things to worry about. And that is so true, but we may laugh about the peas, but really we go over all those details in pre-planning. So we talk about a luncheon, um, what flowers you would like, your obituary. We go over all those details and we help you through it. Um, because some people truly, I've had them sit at the table and say, I don't want hot dish. So that is truly something that does come up. One of the last points I'd like to make is, uh, in my experience, I have found uh, that when a person comes in, plans for either themselves or their loved one, mm -hmm. I feel that there's, a, there's an empowerment there, mm -hmm. um, that they truly feel like they have done something great, worthwhile. Um, I feel that taking care of, of funeral arrangements ahead of time, like you said, is a gift mm -hmm. uh, to those family members that remain. Um, it's comforting to know that you've done all that you can do mm -hmm. uh, with this planning ahead of time. And you can be assured uh, that they'll appreciate the thought and care that went into these funeral arrangements. Um, mm -hmm. It just, it, it tends to ease, ease everyone's mind. And when you talk about empowerment, uh, I have people that when they leave a pre-planning session, they will say, I'm so glad I did this. I've thought about it for a long time, or we've thought about it for a long time, or we've maybe mentioned it, but now I'm so glad that we have it down. And also the pre-funding part of it, that we have money set aside so my family isn't burdened with having to pay for my funeral, that that is there for them as a gift. In closing, um I would, I would really like to recommend folks to at least talk. Um, you know, if you're outside with dad, um, maybe you're in the kitchen with mom, uh, I would really encourage folks to at least talk about funerals and, and what wishes may be. Mm -hmm. um, I would encourage folks to seek out uh, a funeral home and, and see what resources they have uh, for pre-planning. Uh, for example, here at Schoenberger, um, we offer to, to send uh, home a planning booklet mm -hmm. with folks. They can, they can take home this booklet, fill it out at their convenience, um, and, and again, I think it, it gets the ball rolling on at mm -hmm. least having that talk uh, with your loved ones. I would encourage you, once this book is complete, to, to let family members know where it's at. Mm -hmm. um, also, if, if you would like, I think it would be a great idea to leave a, co a copy of this with your local funeral home of choice. Mm -hmm. Because when a death occurs, again, mm -hmm. things, uh, things can, can get a little bit hectic. So to have, have this book in a place where everybody can find it, I, I feel is a, extremely mm -hmm. helpful. And pre-planning is just a free service. So you can sit down with the funeral director, the pre-planning person, and go over the guide that um, is provided and talk about all those details.